This video is brought to you by Manscaped.com. Undoubtedly, Zangetsu is one of the most intriguing characters in the entire Bleach story. Now, if you're wondering which Zangetsu I'm referring to, the answer is both. They embody Ichigo's internal struggle, representing the two opposing forces that are constantly clashing within him. Remarkably, despite how much they may conflict, these two forces also maintain a delicate balance within Ichigo's soul. And more than anything, they symbolize the vast potential and untapped power that lies dormant within him. In this video, I want to discuss the most interesting instance of Zangetsu, when he had appeared before Ichigo as Holified Tensor Zangetsu. We are going to talk about how this form had come to be and why this form may just be one of the most powerful characters in all of Bleach. Bleach fans, today's video is brought to you by Manscaped.com. Just like our favorite stylish characters in the world of Bleach, we know that looking and feeling good is very important. I mean, have you seen Aizen and his perfectly groomed hair? Manscaped.com is the go-to place for top-notch grooming and hygiene products. Recently, I received their all-in-one performance package 4.0. And let me tell you, it's the ultimate grooming kit for every stylish Bleach fan. The Lawn Mower 4.0 trimmer is a waterproof, cordless trimmer designed to keep your body hair in check, just like the perfectly sculpted characters within Bleach. Also included within the Performance Package 4.0 kit are two products that'll make you feel as fresh as Ichigo after an epic battle, the Crop Preserver Liquid Deodorant and the Crop Reviver Toner Spray. And if you want your very own personal Zompak Do to whack away those unsightly hairs with precision and ease, then look no further than the Weed Whacker 2.0 Nose and Ear Hair Trimmer. For a limited time, you can get two free gifts when you purchase the Performance Package 4.0 kit. These include the Shed Travel Bag and the Ultra Comfy Manscaped Anti-Chafing Boxer Briefs. So channel your inner Shunsui Kyoraku and elevate your grooming game. Head over to manscaped.com today and get 20% off plus free international shipping when you use the promo code DBZ at checkout. You too can feel as stylish and confident as your favorite Bleach characters with 20% off plus free international shipping using the promo code DBZ at manscaped.com. Now let's get back to the topic of the video. The different aspects of Zangetsu take on distinct roles throughout the story. White Zangetsu often embodies pure unbridled instinct, urging Ichigo to embrace the ferocity that's needed to protect the world that he cares about. Although he seems to want control over Ichigo's body, his actual role is that of a mentor. He consistently highlights flaws in Ichigo's fighting style as well as his mindset, while also serving as the true source of Ichigo's Shinigami and hollow powers. Despite his seemingly antagonistic actions, he genuinely wants the best for Ichigo in order to become a protector who loses nothing and eradicates all threats. Oldman Zangetsu, on the other hand, contrasts with White Zangetsu. As the first Zangetsu introduced in the story, he initially appears to guide Ichigo on his Shinigami journey, teaching him to access his powers and even granting him his own Bankai. But as the story continues, we learn that his true desire was not to help Ichigo become a protector, but rather to protect Ichigo himself. He had sought to spare Ichigo from the unending suffering and pain that would inevitably occur while on the path of a Shinigami. For this reason, he had held back Ichigo's powers and had stunted his growth. Oldman Zangetsu's real identity we come to learn is the manifestation of Ichigo's Quincy powers. Despite the differences between White Zangetsu and Oldman Zangetsu, these two entities are one and the same. They are Ichigo's powers. So what would happen if these two powers powerful beings had fused. In their original state, they were one being. So what would occur if they were to return to that original form? The story provides a perfect answer to this question. So let's now explore how this being had emerged within the story via Holified Tensa Zangetsu. I want to talk about the role that he plays in helping Ichigo become stronger, along with speculating just how incredibly overpowered he is. After Aizen acquires the powers of the Hokyoku, he becomes virtually unbeatable, and he overshadows even top tier Shinigami like Ishin, Urahara and even Yoroichi. Even the thought of defeating him while he is in this state appears to be impossible, especially since none of the characters present can sense his immense spiritual pressure. Feeling helpless against Aizen's transcendent powers, Ichigo falls into despair. However, his father Ishin encourages him to keep fighting, especially after realizing that Ichigo can still sense Aizen's spiritual pressure, as he quickly understands the need to make Ichigo even stronger 
Atlas so that he can face off against Aizen. His father then reveals to him the existence of an all-powerful technique called the Final Getsuke Tensho, an ability that will grant him with the strength required to defeat the transcended Aizen. The two of them now needed a suitable location to train in, and after Aizen's excessive display of power where he had utterly destroyed the cleaner of the Dangai, it ended up making the Dangai a perfect spot for training. They'd used the time dilation within this realm to their benefit. The father and son duo had began Ichigo's training, as Ishin explains that this technique can only be taught by Ichigo's own Zanpakuto, and he instructs him in the proper stance to enter his Zanpakuto's world and to extract the necessary knowledge that he needs from his Zanpakuto spirit. Ichigo follows his father's guidance and he ventures into his inner world. Upon arriving within his inner world, Ichigo finds it entirely submerged underwater. He begins to panic as he tries to swim to the surface, but it doesn't seem to be making any progress. Suddenly, a cloaked hand grabs his Shinigami robes and flings him into a nearby building. Ichigo looks up to see a hooded figure floating above him in the water. The figure tells him not to worry, as he should have no trouble breathing. Realizing that this is true, Ichigo wonders who the stranger is, as he's never seen him in his inner world before. The mysterious figure criticizes Ichigo for his impoliteness as he quickly draws a Zanpakuto, which Ichigo immediately recognizes as Tensa Zangetsu. Before he can process this information, the mysterious stranger removes their hood, revealing an unfamiliar face. The cloaked individual explains that Ichigo wouldn't recognize him since he has never entered his inner world while in his Bankai state. He then starts to understand that this might be someone that he knows, but before he can finish his thought, he is interrupted by a sudden attack from this figure. He then realizes that it's Zangetsu, but he is corrected by the cloaked figure who states that he isn't Zangetsu, but rather Tensa Zangetsu. This clarification is punctuated by a powerful slash that creates a massive eruption of water at the surface. Now this attack actually injures Ichigo, harming his real body on the outside world. Ichigo tries to explain that he didn't come to fight, but Tensa Zangetsu interrupts him, stating that he is aware that he wants to learn the final Getsuke Tensho, and he refuses to teach him it. He launches a dangerous attack that narrowly misses Ichigo's head. Despite his insisting he needs the power to protect Karakura Town, Tensa Zangetsu warns him not to assume that they share the same priorities, because that which Ichigo wants to protect is different to what Tensa Zangetsu wants to protect. This statement shocks Ichigo and stuns him long enough for Tensa Zangetsu to be able to grab and throw Ichigo into another building. In chapter 410, the battle continues, with Ichigo still stubbornly trying to force Tensa Zangetsu to submit to his will. He breaks away from him and asks what he had meant by his previous statement. If he had been helping him all this while, then why is he going to stop now? Tensa Zangetsu ignores him and proceeds to berate Ichigo for falling into despair and drowning his inner world as a side effect of it. He flash steps towards him and declares that he was going to pull out the roots of Ichigo's despair in order to save him from his sorry state. He pierces his hand through Ichigo's chest and he rips out a white entity. Now before continuing, it's worth mentioning the cool detail of White Zangetsu's hand being in the same spot as the hollow hole that appeared when Ichigo transforms into his full hollow form. This of course was a well-placed hint by Kubo, which foreshadows the identity of who has just been pulled out of Ichigo. It expands upon the last time that we saw both of the Zangetsus present, because after Ichigo had managed to regain Zangetsu's power in chapter 112, we see that White Zangetsu was reabsorbed by Old Man Zangetsu. But now we see White Zangetsu being ripped out of Ichigo's own body, and I love how this perfectly illustrates the change in their power dynamic. White Zangetsu appears and greets Ichigo mockingly before removing his mask to reveal his face. Interestingly, he appears in his full hollow form, donning the usual inverted versions of Ichigo's clothing. Of course, Ichigo's expression changes to one of pure horror when he recognizes the return of White Zangetsu. In chapter 411, we see Ichigo confused about White Zangetsu's presence within his soul, because he had thought that he disappeared. But White Zangetsu puts his mask back on and sighs. A single panel shows his silent masked face conveying a sense of hurt as Ichigo expresses disappointment in not getting rid of him. Ichigo then asks why is it that White Zangetsu looks different. Tensa Zangetsu explains that this was the form that Ichigo had taken during his battle against Ukiora. That fight becomes such a traumatic experience that Ichigo is now afraid of being taken over by his inner hollow again, and this is ultimately preventing him from being able to holify properly. Ichigo dismissively asks about their next course of action, 
seemingly disregarding White Zangetsu's feelings, as he questions whether if he is supposed to defeat White Zangetsu again. But Tensa Zangetsu clarifies that he must face off against both of them, as he states that both of them are one. The two of them proceed to merge as Holofy Tensa Zangetsu finally appears. It is to be noted that Holofy Tensa Zangetsu adopts an appearance which is similar to Ichigo's while he battles against Yuhobak, but without all of the hollow markings. He clarifies to Ichigo that both Old Man Zangetsu and White Zangetsu represent Ichigo's power. They exist as a single entity. He asks Ichigo if he is ready and then proceeds to attack, displaying traits of both Old Man Zangetsu and White Zangetsu. Now, no new variations or powers are revealed during their fight. The story then shifts to Aizen within Karakura Town, and it feels like a missed opportunity in my opinion. It would have been really intriguing to see more of this version of White Zangetsu, because other Bleach media like Brave Souls have depicted unique hypothetical forms of Ichigo, but we do on the other hand learn that Holofy Tensa Zangetsu embodies all of Ichigo's powers combined, making it significantly stronger than Ichigo. As stated in chapter 420, this combination of Old Man Zangetsu's abilities like stopping time and manipulating shadows combined with White Zangetsu's combat skills and hollow powers creates a formidable force. The lack of these abilities during their fight highlights how much he had held back against Ichigo. After he grants Ichigo the power of Mugetsu and teaches him the final Getsuga Tensho, we never get to see this form again. This version of Zangetsu is fascinating, as it could be the most powerful character in the series. This is because of everything that we know about Ichigo's ancestry and the Soul King. This version of Zangetsu is in fact the second transcendent being that we encounter within Bleach. No wonder he was able to grant Ichigo the power to surpass Aizen, who had become a worthy replacement to the Soul King, as stated by the Bleach data books. It's things like this that make Bleach such a great story to look back on and reread. As the story continues, we learn that Ichigo had surpassed the level of power that he had obtained within his Dangai form, which is just insane to imagine. This indicates that Holofy Tensa Zangetsu still possessed even more power which Ichigo comes to gain later on. The power of Holofy Tensa Zangetsu is nothing short of phenomenal. He is quite literally the physical manifestation of all of the power that Ichigo could possibly possess. It's why I'm inclined to believe that this version of Zangetsu might be the most powerful character in all of Bleach. In conclusion, Holofy Tensa Zangetsu represents an amazing fusion of Ichigo's powers, which results in the emergence of an awe-inspiring force within the Bleach universe. Acting as an embodiment of all of Ichigo's potential, it stands at quite possibly the strongest character in the series. While we have only caught glimpses of its capabilities, the evidence points to a level of strength beyond imagination. As we continue to explore and deep dive into the world of Bleach, questions surrounding Holofy Tensa Zangetsu will inevitably arise. Could we ever see Ichigo reach his true potential and unlock even greater power? Are there more untapped abilities hidden within this formidable form? And ultimately, what challenges could Ichigo face which would warrant the return of Holofy Tensa Zangetsu? I mean, when I theorize it in my own mind, during the Thousand Year Blood War arc, all of Ichigo's powers had become one and he had forged a new Zanpakuto. Is Holofy Tensa Zangetsu Ichigo's actual Zanpakuto spirit? Since that's the form that had appeared within his inner world when his powers had merged as one. We're going to have to wait and see if Kubo expands upon this, and I'd love to see the return of Holofy Tensa Zangetsu during the Hell arc, but until then, I want to hand over the discussion to all of you. What did you think about this very mysterious form that had left us with more questions than answers? What is your theory or explanation behind the existence of Holofy Tensa Zangetsu? I'd love to read all of your thoughts in the comments, so definitely continue the discussion. And lastly, thank you for making it to the end of this video, and I can't wait to see you in my next Bleach video. If you enjoy my content, then you can support my channel through Patreon for as little as a dollar a month, or even through YouTube by becoming a channel member. You will gain access to exclusive channel perks and a Discord server which I frequently use. So become a member of my Zero Division and be the first to know about my upcoming videos. And once again, thank you for sticking around till the end of the video, and whatever you contribute will mean a lot to me.